Hi, I'm Carl. I'm a developer at Mediaviki Sverige, Mediaviki Sweden. And we work on a project called Wikispeech. Uh, it's been around for a while, and uh, since this spring, we've been live uh, as a feature that can communicate with our servers and read article pages uh, in supported languages on any Mediaviki installation that allows for users to add such a feature, for instance, Wikipedia. Uh, the reason for Wikispeech to exist is rather simple. It's about accessibility. Uh, it's for people that for one or another reason prefer or need to have text read to them rather than reading it themselves. We are using false technologies for text-to-speech. We currently support Swedish, English and Arabic. And we do want to add support for more languages, preferably minority languages uh, or languages spoken in areas uh, that do not have accessibility tools supplied to them by their state. So for instance, in Sweden, all textbooks are also supplied as, or all textbooks in schools are also supplied as uh, audiobooks for those that have dyslexia, blind, or whatever reason it might be. This is not the way it is around the globe. And we try to add such accessibility feature to everybody in the world using Wikispeech on MediaWiki platforms. And Wikispeech text-to-speech is the first part of our project, but we are now moving towards something called the Speech Data Collector. It's very similar to Mozilla Commons, which is a um, speech recording platform uh, where people can record their voice, which would then be used to, for instance, produce text-to-speech synthesizers. We are compatible with Mozilla Common Voice, and they are compatible with us in the sense of we use the same license, CC0, for all the audio recordings. And we can use their data that's already been recorded, and they can use our data that will be recorded. The major difference is the amount of annotations we have in our recordings. We can differentiate between dialects and accents that a German person is speaking Swedish rather than a uh, local person with a local accent is speaking Swedish. And this allows for uh, creating rather um, excellent uh, text-to-speech synthesizers with specific dialects and accents. We are doing this project in cooperation with KTH, the Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm, who are developing a next generation text to speech synthesizers uh, that can be trained from text annotated speech recordings. Data we will be collecting. Uh, we have a manuscript tool that will produce uh, as um, small amounts of text as possible that will be read in order to uh, produce a text-to-speech synthesizer and uh, hopefully in in the future uh, as the Royal Institute have their um, technology at place we will be able to extract data from our speech data collector tool and produce text-to-speech synthesizers for pretty much any language uh, available in the globe. Um, th this data will also possibly be used for uh, speech to text. Um, there's been a problem in commercial systems where they're working really well for middle-aged men in Silicon Valley while it's not working so well uh, for old women in uh, Mississippi, for instance. Uh, we can also use this for uh, preservation of languages, having uh, future recordings of uh, text, for, even for minority languages and, and where people might, might not be spending too much time, states be spending too much time to uh, um, preserve these languages and what they sound like over time. And there are probably many, many other reasons that one might want to use our speech recording data and help us record all this data that we will be needing. 
the project will be uh, further developed this fall and we hope to uh, have many people from the community to help us record speech. Thank you.